Morning guys, it's my final day in Dominica and we are just heading to a day pass today. In order to get to the hotel, we had to go through the cityscape and expanse of seaside views and head up into the hills. This place is gorgeous. Absolutely. In this video, I'm hoping to give you a very tranquil tour of the property as well as set the scene and give you a good idea of what the atmosphere is like at Jungle Bay Resort. At the end of this tour, there will be some bloopers and clips of our shenanigans and activities over the entire trip, so be sure to keep watching to the very end. The gift shop is directly connected to the reception area. And it has a lot of the regular touristy things, but it also has a lot of unique crafts that you can see were locally made. One thing I'm also going to say about this resort is that there is wood everywhere. So if you don't love the look of raw wood in all of its forms, then this might not be the hotel for you. But if you do, you're going to see a lot of unique pieces all throughout the hotel. The restaurant lobby leads you directly onto the poolside area, which has one of the most beautiful views you will ever see from an infinity pool. The name of the hotel really fits because it looks like the hotel was just dropped in the middle of a jungle. There is a flora all over, there are trees, there is just a feel that you are in the midst of nature. I also love the tranquil and quiet atmosphere of the hotel. If you are looking for somewhere to just get away from the hustle and bustle of life, to just sit with your thoughts, to just enjoy being quiet, and peaceful, this is the place for you. I want you all to know that I was sweating, I was getting my steps in, just walking around this property to give you guys a good picture of what it looks like. We luckily saw a room being cleaned and the attendant was so kind to let us see the room so we can have an idea even though it wasn't completely set up. So I'm just going to give you guys an idea of what the room looks like at Jungle Bay Resort. Check out the ocean side view from this villa. Um, yeah, we could see Scott's head. So all that sea and where the landline is with the Caribbean Sea and then the Atlantic Ocean behind it, that's Scott's head. I'll actually be taking you guys for a closer look at Scott's head, but in the meantime, we're preparing for lunch. If it's one thing about Dominica, it rains at the drop of a hat, but it gets sunny just as quickly.
why have such beautiful grounds and not do a professional photo shoot with the lovely atmosphere? The color scheme was white and dusty pink. After the pool, we tidied up and we got fancied up. You can see that they're taking some photographs, some family photographs in the back. So we did a little mini photo shoot, but like it's hard at this hotel to not find places that are just beautiful because the whole landscaping, like everywhere is a view. We're just obsessing over the beauty. Come, come, Jack. Come. It's nice. Come, we come. Come, no. Come, no. Nice. <laughs> I'm now taking you to a unique ocean divide called Scott's Head. This is um, where we came from. So yeah, this is probably a better view so you can get the perspective of the Caribbean Sea on one side and the Atlantic Ocean on the other and see the vast difference. And that little stretch of land is where we're standing just now. As I sadly say goodbye to Dominica, Dominica is amazing. It is beautiful. It is just nature in its full glory. There's so much to do here. Stay tuned for some bloopers and additional clips of all the fun we had. Good morning, guys. It is 6.20 a.m. Um, I'm at the airport. <laughs> I keep appearing so comfortably. Mm -hmm. But I don't think the people um, have woken up yet. 